question seven, part one, gives us gives us that y equals cosec x. Now cosec is the same as one over sine x, and it asks us to differentiate this. You've got two options for this. You could use the quotient rule from C three, or you could use the chain rule by treating this as sine x to the power of negative one. And I'm going to go for the second option. Um, So I'm going to move the power to the front. I'm going to take one off the power, and then I'm going to times by the differential of what I pretended was an x. I pretended sine x was an x, and when you differentiate sine x, you get cos x. So that's what we get when we differentiate. Obviously, that looks nothing like what they've given us here, but we can sort that out. We've got minus cos x over sine squared x. If I take this negative 2 to the bottom, that's going to be a sine squared x. And normally, if, we had, if we'd had a sine over cos, we'd know to turn that into tan. We've got a cos over sine, and cos over sine is its reciprocal, so this is tan's reciprocal, and 1 over tan is cot. So I can change one, I can kind of take out one of these um, minus cos, sorry, the cos x over sin x and change that to a cot x. So I've now got minus cot x, I've still got a sin x on the bottom. But like we said right at the beginning of the question, a 1 over sin x is the same as a cosec x. So we've got minus cosec x cot x. 